Hello, 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 hello. I'm Coin Ring Maker. If you've never seen me before, I make coins into rings. And today we're going to be working on this 1968 40% silver Kennedy half dollar. Uh, here's a nice example of what it's going to kind of look like. This one's a 1964th, so this one right here is actually 90% silver uh, compared to the 40% from 1968 uh, and uh, we're gonna get started on this in just a second if anybody wants to check out the website I can go ahead and pin the link for that down here and I am looking for a little bit of website feedback I just want to kind of understand from the customers perspective a little bit more about uh, how you feel navigating the website so if you want to check that out while you watch me work and uh, give me a little feedback on what you think i sure would appreciate it all right so the first thing we've got to do is punch a hole right in the middle of our coin so we're going to get that going thanks for the roses so this is going to center our coin right in the middle and we're just going to hammer our punch right on through if anybody has any questions while I work on this, uh, feel free to put them in the chat. And again, I am looking uh, for some feedback on my website today. <clears throat> so if you want to check that out, I'll pin it down here. And if there's any issues or any questions you have, uh, let me know in the chat. Center punch, cool little eagle. And let's see how our coin looks. Y'all don't sh be shy. You can tap the screen if you're enjoying the live. Just broke a hundred likes on this live so far. Very nice. There is our coin so far. You can see now it has a hole in it. If you look on the inside of the edge of that hole we punched, you can see it's a little rough and it's actually kind of sharp. So we're going to take a deburring tool and cut away some of that material to smooth out that inside edge. Again, a big push to get you guys to go check out the website today. Come back here, give me some feedback on uh, how you think it's laid out. Uh, if you have an issue with the pricing, uh, if you have trouble navigating, uh, if the checkout's weird, uh, just, just run through like you're making an imaginary purchase and uh, come back here and let me know if there's any hiccups along the way or things that you'd like me to change to uh, make it easier or more fun to shop on. I'm a one-man business, so any kind of outside perspective uh, is always really helpful. And uh, if you have any questions while I work on this, feel free to put them in the chat. Thanks for stopping by and watching me work. website looks good easy to navigate well i do appreciate you going and checking it out see my real hang up is i was looking at like the metrics for the website and out of about a hundred people that make it there and uh, like add things to their cart i get i get one sale i'm just really confused at why people get so close to getting something and then kind of drop out so if anybody wants to test out the website and see if there's anything that kind of scares you away or <laughs> let me know i do appreciate you checking it out thank you very much now we've got that inside edge nice and smooth we're going to go ahead and kneel this 
a process where we heat it up with a bit of fire. It's gonna help soften up the metal and make it easier to uh, fold and shape. Good afternoon. How's it going? Again, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Dry that off real quick. Then we'll get to the real ring making steps. So right now we got 40% silver washer. <laughs> so we're gonna take this over to the uh, one ton arbor press and start folding it. Let's go. Doming block, pull out a little bit. I'll take a three quarter inch Delrin ball, which is just really hard plastic, and give it a nice push. It's looking after our first fold. So the best way to find your ring size is to just visit like your closest jewelry store. Uh, most of them will size your ring for free and they've done it enough times that they can do it pretty quickly and uh, accurately. Like there's a lot of kind of dumb ways to get your ring size online using like paper or string or a shoelace and then trying to measure. That's not really going to get the comfort or security you'd want from your ring. Usually it's pretty inaccurate. So what I recommend is just visiting a jewelry store and uh, letting them size, size you out. That gets a lot better results. Just a little bit more. Oh, I see. That's a good point. That's kind of a tricky thing uh, for me to address on the website, but I guess I could make a video saying if you don't know your ring size, you know, here's how to figure it out. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Add it to my notes. Thank you very much. But yeah, one of my main focuses today is just trying to figure out uh, why people kind of drop out of purchases on my website. I really like making coin rings, and it seems like I can get a decent amount of people to the website and pretty much to check out, but they don't quite finish all the way.
Yeah. But I could see that as being a road bump for sure. So I didn't know my ring size until I made my first ring. So that's definitely a good thing to address. If anybody else has any suggestions, let me know. If you guys haven't uh, checked out the website, I'll go ahead and pin it down here. I'm just looking for any feedback uh, on things that I could change or maybe make easier. I've really tried to make the website uh, easy to navigate. And like I said, a lot of people, it seems like they find what they're looking for. They add it to their cart. And then they just uh, head back out. I, I'm just totally baffled by it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Make you wish you had more fingers. That's very nice. It's been a little tricky sales-wise recently since a uh, TikTok shop has come out. It's just, it's, they don't want me listing anything that's made out of precious metals. So silver's kind of nixed. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to get more people from TikTok to my website instead of depending so much on TikTok shop. I thought it was gonna be a good fit. But my test period for that did not go the way I expected. So now I'm, I'm trying more to focus on my customer's website experience and make that as, as good as I possibly can. So if you've never checked out the website and you'd like to help me out, give me a little feedback. I'm really just trying to figure out if there's a better layout issue or... <laughs> anything I could change to make it just easier and a better experience for my customers. So if you guys want to check that out, the link's down here. I do hand make all my coin rings, uh, usually live here on TikTok. How long does it take for me to go from a quarter to a ring? So like regular copper quarters, they're the only thing I worked on for the first year. So I got really, really good at them. I can probably make one in about 15 minutes. 90% uh, silver quarters take a bit more time, probably about an hour. Just gotta be a little more careful. But it really does vary. Like every coin has its own quirks and issues. Things you gotta correct for. But I've also been doing this for quite some time. So I think if like a newbie tried to do it as quick as I would, they would probably make mistakes. I seem to have a hard time getting anyone to want to buy my rings. Yeah, it's tricky to find the right customer. They're definitely not for everyone. Uh, my current um, conversion rate on my website is about 1%. So even out of... Like a hundred people that show interest end up on the website, add something to the cart. Only about one in a hundred actually buy something. So at this point, it's a really uh, like a volume issue. I just got to get a ton of people to the site, but I'd rather make it a quality issue and get more of the people who are already coming to take action thanks see I get good feedback from from the videos from my lives I, I really like doing them but like <laughs> If there's not money coming into the business, it kind of becomes 
one of the main priorities. It's important. This is coming along really nicely. This is a 1968 40% uh, silver half dollar. If anybody's curious. Yeah, everything's made to order. The issue with trying to kind of uh, stark pile coin rings is like maintaining detail really depends on knowing the size of the ring before you work on it. So if it's going to be really big, let's say I make like a size 18 coin ring and somebody orders it, but they want like a size six, the quality of the details uh, from resizing really do suffer. So I try to not make anything except like made to order because it keeps the quality of the rings much nicer. It's looking pretty good. When I first started, I made like a stockpile. I did kind of have an inventory, but I was doing more kind of live sales, person to person sales. So it was good to have some like on hand, I could just sell right there. But since I've transitioned to online sales, I, I focus much more on uh, like made to order. And this way, the customer can usually see the process of the ring getting made. Uh, I usually film everything here on TikTok Live and then repost it on YouTube. So they can go back and watch the ring get made whenever they want. Forever. Which I think is pretty cool. Kind of a bonus of doing everything made to order. But that's another issue I had with the TikTok shop is they want me to ship out within three days of getting the order. And that's all good and fine if I'm slow. But if I'm backlogged on orders or I get a bunch all at once, I could see myself having difficulty keeping up with that speed. Right? I think, uh, I think that's pretty cool. So if anybody here is interested in getting a coin ring, uh, for me, they are all handmade. They're all uh, like videoed every time I make one. This tool is 3D printed, yes. You can see the, the layer lines on there. It's pretty handy. Before I got this, I used to have to just hold the ring and my fingers just aren't as steady as this tool. It's pretty good. For anybody who's just joining in, I'm Coin Ring Maker. I make coins into rings. This is a 1968 40% silver half dollar we're working on right here. And I am looking for some uh, customer feedback, well, like trial customer feedback. I'm looking for people to visit my website and just kind of mimic or pretend like they're um, shopping for something and coming back and giving me any uh, productive feedback on that process. Uh, things that would like make you want to leave the website, things uh, you'd like to see that aren't there, uh, questions you have that are, aren't, aren't answered, uh, come back, let me know. I've done a trade show or two. It's, <laughs> it's a really difficult thing to do like by yourself. Um, I, I did really enjoy the experience, but I much prefer like working in a place where I'm comfortable <laughs> and like 
I don't know, just something as simple as going to the bathroom at a trade show when you're by yourself is like, it's hell. It's terrible because you've got all your product just sitting there and, uh, you know, they usually take several hours. Makes you nervous. I don't know, it's a lot easier to find the small niche of people who are actually interested in my products on the internet uh, compared to like real life. Uh, most people think, you know, that's interesting, but it's not really something I'm interested in. Whereas online, uh, it's a lot easier to find the people who actually want the things that I make. But I do know, like, other coin ring makers who successfully do trade shows, like, year-round, and, like, so that's just what they do um, for a living, and, like, I totally envy them. Like, I think it's really cool that they're able to do that, but there are, like, a lot of added expenses going from, like, sailing online to doing a trade show, um, <laughs> and I don't mind avoiding those expenses. Uh, if I can just stay home and do it. They are fun. But there's a there's a lot to go with it. How much for a ring? Uh, my ranges my rings range in price from thirty dollars up to about three hundred. It really depends on the coin that the ring is made of. Uh, like what kind of metal it's made of, how old it is, uh, the size of the coin. There's a lot of factors that go into pricing, rarity of the coin as well. Uh, you can find uh, my store by tapping this link down here. And I am asking for just feedback uh, from anybody who does want to check out the store today. Uh, so if you want to go check out the website and come back here and let me know what you thought of it, I sure would appreciate it. On your website, take your cheapest products and add a fast buy on the first page. The cheapest products, huh? Okay. Oh, you've been very helpful. Who want quality will dig deeper into the website. Okay. So you think people... Uh, some people might just be looking for something quick and fun and cheap. But the people who are looking for uh, something fancier, higher quality, will spend the time. It's recorder. Ooh! This stuff right here, yes sir. I never keep it far away. Impulse bias. All right, that's that's not a bad idea. See, I did add, uh, like I've, I've been having a lot of trouble with TikTok shop because they don't want me selling any precious metals. So I can't really sell any like silver rings, which are like, my best selling products. Uh, so I did add stickers. It's very easy to navigate and understand. That's great. That's awesome. Is there any um, thing that would, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know how to ask this. Like, I do appreciate you guys coming back and telling me like the website is good. But like what I need to hear is, is like what's wrong with it. 
like that, that's what I need, is like, why would you add something to your cart, add all your information, and then leave? Because that's just what the, ma the majority of my website visitors do. Um, I have seen that uh, it usually takes a few days for someone to make a purchase. So I understand that, like budgeting for it, going asking a, <laughs> a spouse if it's okay to get or if they'd be interested in it. But some people just never come back. So maybe adding impulse buys would be a good idea. Some people add to cart everything to determine the total. That's true. Looks nice. Very nice. And I am glad to hear that it's easy to navigate. Uh, if anybody here has just joined, I'm Coin Ring Maker. I make coins into rings. Today we're working on a 1968 40% silver Kennedy half dollar. We're almost done with it. If anybody would like to get a coin ring and see it made live, I'm all caught up on my order. So if I do have an order come in on this live, we can immediately get to work on it and you can watch the whole process. Uh, my shop link is just down here. And I am asking uh, for you guys to just check out the website, even if you're not interested in buying anything. Just kind of pretend like you are and come back here and give me feedback. Anything I could change on the site to uh, just allow my customers to have a better experience while they're there. Like, I really do try and make it uh, as easy to use as possible. But I am just a one-man business, so... It's easy for me to be kind of blind to like blatantly obvious things, especially when like I built the website. I, I feel like getting fresh eyes on it is always good. So if anybody here wants to check that out, I'll have the link down here. So it's easy to find. If anybody has any questions, let me know. We're gonna go ahead and polish this up a little bit. Maybe, I don't know. I feel like most people get to the website from TikTok. So I don't know how clear I need to be or if I need to like add more videos to the website of like the process of making the rings. That might be good. Didn't see any problem. The only thing I seen might be, ooh, the suspense. I'm glad you made it all the way to checkout. That's good. I really appreciate like you actually looking and, and giving me feedback. Thank you very much. I'm going to shine on that. It's cleaning up real nice. What is it, Gnarled King, what it might be? The options for the center punches. Yeah, those are kind of weird. Um, I've tried a couple different names for that specific piece. So when I make a, uh, a coin ring, the first step is to punch the middle out of the coin and I do have quite a few options for what uh, can be done with these. But I do understand they can be a little confusing. So that might need a bit of a rework. Yeah, the issue I have with earrings is they usually require two center punches. 
and the, the ring math for that's kind of tricky. I need two coins. So I make uh, like necklaces and keychains and like tie pins. Use them for bells. That's a good idea, yeah. The little ringer. Can I make you one? Absolutely. Uh, I have lots of options for coin rings. Uh, if you visit my website down here, you can see all the coin rings I have. I am asking for feedback on the website, so since you're interested in getting one, your feedback uh, could be really useful. Just uh, go shop around. Uh, if there's anything that bothers you or you don't like or think is missing, let me know here in the comments. Just any kind of feedback you have about the website. Uh, any questions you have, go check it out. Yeah, man, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your help. really nice <laughs> it's taking my fingerprints <laughs> I'll open it up again uh, if anybody's interested in getting a coin ring and seeing it made right now live here on TikTok uh, you can use the coupon code welcome It'll save you 10% off your order. And if I get an order here in the next five minutes or so, we will make you ring. If you have any questions, let me know. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit that follow button. Tap the screen a couple times. And thanks for watching. Really nice shine on it. Looks good. Guys, we got this one finished. I'm going to take a brief break. Probably hop back on here and make something else. If you've got some free time, please go watch the last video I posted here on TikTok. On my profile. And uh, just do what it says. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for stopping by and watching me work. I'll catch you next time. Peace.